My name is Abel Zill. I'm the owner of Zill Vardos, which is a tiny house building company based in Olympia, Washington. I guess the story goes back to when I decided to build my first tiny house. I was inspired by Dee Williams. She lived right down the street from me. I think I complimented her on her house and she was like, yeah, you should do that. And I was like, yeah, why not? I kind of had other thoughts of building a small structure for myself around that time, but that kind of sealed it for me. And I built a tiny house on a recycled trailer with a whole bunch of materials that I scrounged up around Olympia. Not long after that, somebody hired me to build them a tiny house. And I guess that was about seven, maybe eight years ago. When I started designing houses, I, I guess I just didn't know what I couldn't do. You know, I had a very small amount of like over the table building experience. I kind of really quickly realized that there's a lot more to, you know, creating a living space than just taking the square boards that you can buy at the store and sticking them together. As I continued that process, people have egged me on, so to speak. So I've been like very encouraged <laughs> to build this way and I frankly enjoy it. And there's like a, a kind of a, a whole flow that you're trying to create with a project and no matter what it is. It's not always the easiest way to do it, but it, it can be really rewarding. This is the house we just finished. It's one of my uh, pinafore designs. The second one that I built, the person I originally built the pinafore for asked if I could incorporate Gothic architecture ideas. And I, at that time, happened to be reading a book of like Gothic house designs. So I was like, yeah. And what I think I came up with turned out to be something a little more like fairy tale esque but that's the pinafore design. One of the most notable things that I like about this house design is that it has an asymmetrical roof line and it gives you headroom to ascend the stairs, but allows them to be over on the side of the house. The loft, it gives it this kind of like cubby hole quality, which is really nice. And then with the, the Gothic window inside of that, it, it has a really nice like aesthetic. Another thing that I'm like really into or excited about is my windows, which we've worked really hard to design and build. Um, this is a double hung window. Um, the original Pinafore had the big round one, which people kind of know me for, but um, this one, well, I can't say I designed it from scratch because I base everything on you know, some measure of tradition, especially with windows. I build a lot of um, casement awning windows, and this is a this is a, a small awning window, and um, they're really wonderful uh, to use. Um, and we build them out of solid fur. This is a casement, which just means it opens like a door. This one, just for simplicity, has an electric heater, a Steibel Eltron, which is uh, very simple. They're really safe, um, they're very reliable. It's just like a convective electric heater. Um, they heat up really fast. I also do propane, like radiant heaters. Um, I've done under the floor electric heating, but I also help people figure out wood stoves. That has its own set of challenges because you, you know, there's definitely safety concerns, but there's some really good, really compact wood stoves out there right now, so. Usually the most efficient also tends to be like the most reliable. There's something about that, you know, like a good design is a good design. And I really value like really good engineering and insist that like the suppliers and the companies that I'm getting these things from also have high standards for those. So that, that's what part of my research is just to find the right thing, but also the right company to support it. A good design is a balance and there are various places you can create a balance. But one of the important things about building is the relationship I create with people. Each relationship creates a slightly different balance. So every house is different, but really the, the larger parts of the design are like, how much is the budget and what are the, the most important elements to have in the house? And how is it going to be easy to maintain? And those things are really important to me because building something that's going to start falling apart in 10 years is the opposite of kind of the sustainability of, you know, you go to all the trouble to procure these like amazing pieces of wood and all these like thousands of parts that go into a house, you might as well make it so you can keep them working for you for a pretty good period of time. And that's the most like green thing you can do, I think. Tiny houses are really efficient, no matter which way you look at them. They don't use a lot of materials. They give 
people this kind of flexibility that they don't have with conventional structures. This, this is like a new way of evolving a living space. It's like you get this like self-contained, fully functional residence, and that's that's really profound. Doing a project like you know a creative building project like I and my amazing carpenters do really reminds me of putting on a theatrical production. When I was younger, somebody invited me to come try out some aerial stuff. Um, he, he had set some stuff up in his barn, and that kind of original group of people that we all kind of got together to, to play, so to speak, was what became a, a local performing troupe that I was part of. So I guess one invitation kind of got me started, and we would produce the entire shows ourselves from the bottom to the top, doing lighting, the rig, everything. We didn't hire anybody. We did it all ourselves, and there's this really wonderful kind of gelling that happens when you have a, a group becomes your family. And at, at some point you realize, wow, the people say and the show must go on. And what they mean is that you can get through the most amazing things when you kind of create that, that family of people to work with. And that's like a value that like has stuck in my soul. If you get the right group of people, you can do almost anything. And um, it, it's really, it's a really sweet thing. But I think if I could give a piece of advice, it would be to do what your heart's telling you to. And in many ways, that's kind of what I feel like some of the push of the tiny house movement has been. It's, it's like a whole bunch of people doing kind of what their heart has told them to. And in the end, I think that creates like a much more rewarding way of life. I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's film. If you're interested in learning more about Abel and Zilvardos, the links are down in the description box down below. Abel is also setting up a weekly live stream, which he is going to call Ask a Builder. Link to that down below as well. The easiest way for you to support the channel is to hit the like button and share this video with a friend. If you're interested in becoming a part of the team, click the Patreon button right there. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week. Maybe I'll see you whenever I'm out and about, or if not, I will definitely see you next week right here.